And let's reverence the Lord our God because He alone is worthy. He alone is worthy of glory, honor, and adoration. Father, we lift you high in this place. God, you're worthy of all glory. You're worthy of all honor. You're worthy of all praise. Father, we lift you in this place. Father, we lift you in this place. We lift you in this place. God, you're worthy, Lord Jesus. You've been good, 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 good. Hallelujah, we bless your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We serve a wonderful Savior. We serve a magnificent God. We serve a God that makes ways when there is no way. We serve a God that keeps on opening doors. We serve a God that's healing sick bodies. We serve a God that's breaking, 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 breaking every chain. We serve a God. We worship him because he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh, he's been better than you're praising him. He's been better than you're praising him. He's been better than you're praising him. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? If it had not been for the Lord fighting for me, where would I be? Hallelujah. Oh, God, we give you glory. We're ready for you, Lord Jesus. Oh, my, 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 my. We're ready for a move of God in this place. Father, we ask you to have your way. Have your way in this place, God. Everything that's not like you, we cast it out now. In the mighty name of Jesus, every hindrance, every stumbling block, everything in our way, we're moving it now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that you've given us access tonight. You've given us access tonight, and we are grateful, Lord God. We will not waste this opportunity to get in your presence, Lord. We won't waste this opportunity to bow in your presence, God. Hallelujah. 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 So God, we say, God, we are here. We are ready. God, use us for your glory. Do what you want to do. Do what only you can do. There's nothing too hard for you. And we thank you now, God, that as we worship, you're working. As we worship, you're working. As we worship, you're working. And we bless your name, God. Hallelujah. 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 Now open up your mouth and release a praise in this place that says, God, I'm ready. 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 Do what you want to do. Do what you got to do. God, I'm ready. Have your way, Lord. God, I'm ready. Give us a tie and a mercy. God, I'm ready. Whatever's on your agenda, that's my agenda. Whatever you want to do, I partner with you. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kabasu. Kebe shatana namasa. Kiana masi kotobasu. Yebebe asu komasha. God, we bless you. We glorify you. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Hallelujah. 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 Now open up your mouth and act like God did something. Open up your mouth and act like he made a way. Open up your mouth and act like he came through. Open up your mouth and act like he's God. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. There's a move in this place. She come on, my mama. There's a move in this place. I can see her. The dancing hands of God. Moving in this place. Whatever you have need of. Whatever you have need of. Whatever you have need of. Present it to the Lord. He's making ways. He's opening.
and doors. He providing answers. He fulfilling his promises. Whatever you have need. Worship the Savior right there in that space. Come on, come on. He's been good, yeah, yeah. Lord, you've been good, yeah. You keep on making way. You keep on making way. We thank you for your presence being here now. Come on, just worship your Savior. Lord and get a chance to praise our Savior. Come on, let's worship our Savior tonight. See everybody clap your hands. See everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Yeah. It's real simple, y'all know what it says. She hands up, hearts open, wide as the sun. We lift you high. Come on, y'all know it. We lift you high. Hands up, yeah. Hands up, hearts open, wide as the sun. God, we lift your name high. She hands up. Hands up, hearts open, wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. We lift you high. Yeah. Hands up, hearts open, wide as the sky. God, we lift your name high. Hands up, hearts open, wide as the sky. God, we lift your name high. Come on, let's sing it again. She hands up. Hands up, hearts open, wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. We lift you high. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Our hearts open wide as the sky. She gonna we lift your name high. Come on, let's sing it again in the room. She hands up. Hands up. Our hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you high. 
Yes, we lift you up. Hands up, young Hearts open wide. See, God, we lift your name up. God, we lift your name up. Let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Yes, Lord. Let all the other names fade away. 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 See Jesus take your place. See Jesus take your place. Let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Yeah, yeah, freedom is in the room. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Yes, Lord. And I, I'm desperate for you. Oh, yeah. And I, see, I'm lost without you. Come on, help me see that in the room. And I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm dancing for you. Sing it in the room tonight, yeah. I'm lost without you, lost without you. Yeah. And I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dancing for you, Lord. I'm dancing for you. Better in one day in your country. I'm lost without you, Lord. I'm dancing for you. I see 
will move You move the mountain And I believe See I see you do it again You made a way When there was no way And I believe See I see you do it again You move the mountain And I believe I see you do it. I see you do it. You made it. her win. You made her win. When there was no way. When there was no way. And I believe. She I see you do it. I see you do it. She I see you move. 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 See, I see you move. See, you move the mountain. See, you move. You move the mountain. See, you move. See, you move the mountain. See, you move. See, you move the mountain. See, you move. See, when the daughter said no, I see you move. You said yes. I see you move. See, when they called me dead, yeah. See, you move. You said not yet. I see you move. You said Lazarus, get up. I see you move. You said Lazarus, get up. I see you move. You said Lazarus, get up. I see you move. I see you move. See, I see you move. I see you move. I see you move. See, I see you move. I see you move. Come on, right there. Let's worship the Savior in the room. And if you have a question, see if you ever wonder what heaven looks like, it's looking like me and you. See if you ever question. See what heaven sounds like. Uh, she just let it fill the room. If you ever wondered, yeah, yeah. If you ever wondered what heaven looks like. See, it's looking like me and you. Like me and you. See if you ever question, yeah, yeah. If you ever question, what heaven sounds like. What heaven sounds like. She just let it fill the room. Just let it fill the room. See if you ever wondered, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you ever what heaven looks like? What heaven looks like? She is looking like me and you. Looking like me and you. Looking like me and you. She is 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 looking like me and you. I see freedom. Looking like me and you. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. If you ever question, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever question what heaven sounds what like, heaven sound like. So just let it feel the room. So just let it feel the room. Just just let it feel the room. 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 She just let it feel the room. Yeah. She just let it feel the room. She just let it feel the room. Just let it feel the room. Just let it Before you, let me 
sing that in the room. And I hands in the presence of Jesus tonight. If you're glad to be in the house of the Lord, oh, lift those hands high to the Lord. Tell him how good he is. Tell him how awesome he's been. Tell him how wonderful. Oh, because he's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. There is no other God like him in all the earth, searched all over and couldn't find nobody like him. He's God all by himself, Alpha, Omega, the first, the last, beginning and the end. If you have the joy of the Lord, make some noise. If you have the peace of the Lord, make some noise. If you have the favor of the Lord, make some noise. Hey, hallelujah. 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 If you got the overflow of the Lord, <laughs> make some noise. If you got the breakthrough of the Lord, make some noise. If you got the newness of the Lord, let's make some noise. Yes, I'm excited. Woo! Yes, Lord, that new car smell up in here. That new car smell up in here. Yeah, that means we can ready to walk into some. Oh, thank you. That means we are walking in some new stuff that is being preordained and handpicked for such a time as this. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, welcome, welcome to Purpose, where you find Purpose at Purpose. Online audience, welcome to Purpose. Welcome, welcome. We welcome you once. We welcome you twice. We welcome you three times. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe God's got something for us on the night. If I ain't known it better, I think this was a Sunday, a Sunday morning. I tell you that. Uh, I love what God is doing. Anybody came ready, ready to receive something? Yes. How many of you like, like, like believe that God's got something for me? I, I just, I just came to hear one word from the Lord that I know will settle everything, or shift everything, that I bind up every devil in my life. Just one word from the Lord. While you're on your feet, real quick, grab your, grab your Bibles and and your iPhones and your androids and all the fancy stuff we got i'm not trying not to hold you along but just want to tag this text for where i believe god wants to take us tonight matthew chapter 14 mm. verse number 28 and number 29 reading from the new king james version and peter answered him and said lord if it is you command me to come to you on the water so he said, come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. I just want to talk from the topic. And the question is, Get somebody to say, and the question is. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. 
Father, I thank you for what you're going to do tonight. We come with an expectation. We come hungry. Let this word fall upon good ground that it might bring forth fruit. God, I sense a people who are growing by leaps and bounds. We have grown to the point where now you have increased our capacity and now we can hold more, we can do more, we can be more. So I thank you that this word is cut to the continuity of their situations that we might hear what thus says the Lord. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say amen. amen. This is a very familiar passage. Most of the time when we hear this passage, the focal point is Jesus walking on the water. Um, it is mostly used as a testament of faith. As you know, we can see faith do supernatural things. We see that as long as we can have our eyes fixed on him, we see God change things, move things. We see supernatural things happen. But as I was looking at this text, um, I want to kind of attack it from a different perspective. Because I don't want to focus so much on Peter walking on the water. I want to focus more on the tensions in the text that exist before he walked on the water. Because if we be honest, life is filled with tensions. And truth is oftentimes hidden in tension. Maybe it's not by chance that you find yourself in this place where there's tension. Tension isn't always a bad thing. Tension just means that there's two opposing forces pulling on me. So it's not always bad because I... I truly believe that tension is a tool in the hand of God that helps us grow. Whenever there's anything new, you will find tension between the new and the old. Tension, tension. Look at somebody and say tension, 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 tension exists. And if we be honest, tension is at the very core of our Christianity. I can prove it to you. Romans 12 in verse, verse 1, I beseech you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, that you offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing unto God. This is your true and proper worship. Whenever I read that text, I see tension because I'm alive and dead at the same time. Okay, I wish I had a church this. Tension, tension, tension. I'm, a, I'm alive but yet I'm dead at the same time. Righteous ratchet at the, at the same time because there's tension. If you be honest, because there's tension. Sometimes I got faith and there's a little fear at the same time. There's, there, there, there's tension that exists. I am saved, but yet I'm still being saved. At the same time, because there's tension that exists in the text, Jesus died on the cross and the power of sin was broken over my life. But then 1 John 1 and 9 says that if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. But I'm free from sin, yet I still miss the mark in sin. T tension, tension, tension. tension. In a and the awesome thing that I love about tension is that it kind of reminds me of this rubber band right here. It has the capability to be more. But the only way it ever becomes more is if there's... Oh, I think I got a church in here. So without tension... I remain in the form I was first presented in. It is only when tension comes that I can stretch and expand and become more. So maybe this is why God says that I got to allow tension to happen in your life because 
I don't want you to ever go back to the original form that you were. Oh, because he says that's why I got to have constant tension because most of us have a tendency that we'll go back and we'll acquiesce to the thing that is comfortable. But God says, whenever I bring tension, touch somebody and says, I can't go back. I can't go. Oh, tell them again. I can't go back. I can't go back because I know there's more in me. And people, people looked at me and thought this was all that was in me. But when God started bringing tension, I could hold more. I could be more. I could do more. I can change more. I can pray more. I can give more. I can, oops, I can serve more. Because God said, let me bring the right amount of tension that will cause you to stretch and become the best version of yourself. So when I look at this, this text... I see tension that exists in this text. So if you will, go with me to the 22nd verse real quick. It's the same chapter, 22nd verse, because it says something profound. It says, then immediately Jesus made them get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he sent the multitude away. Context Jesus had just fed 15,000 people with two fish and five loaves of bread. And so this miracle had just happened, and their tendency was, we just want to sit around and kick it with Jesus for a little bit and talk about this great miracle. Because y'all know most of us, if like a miracle happened like that, we go Facebook and we go Twitter and we go share it. Look what God has done. But the scripture says he immediately, he immediately made them get into the boat. Because you can get so focused on the miracle that you miss the message. So even though this was something supernatural that happened, God moved in a powerful way. Don't get so focused on the miracle that you miss the message. Because if you're not careful, what can happen is you can get lifted up in what God did and think it was more about you and not him. So so as God flows and moves, we have to remain humble, realizing that it's not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. And so here in this text, it says that he made them which in the Greek, that word means he compelled them, which means he urged them. He gave them a sense of urgency that it, it, that it was urgent that they leave. Because John tells us that this miracle was so profound that the people wanted to force Jesus to be king. They said this only the Messiah and a prophet can do a miracle like this. So this miracle was so profound. They were so awed. They said that we're going to force Jesus to be king. But Jesus knew it wasn't my time yet. See, you can't let the praises of people push you outside of the will of God. Jesus said, yeah, they're saying Hosanna, Hosanna, but but it's not my time yet. They were so awed by what he did. They wanted to push him and make him something that was before before time. So Jesus was so confident that he knew it wasn't my time. And this is where we got to be careful because you can preach one good message and think you a pastor. Let Let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. Or prophesy one correct word and think I'm a prophet. And people will try to crown you prematurely and it's not your time yet. And now you miss things because you let the praises of others push you before it was your time. That's what I love about Jesus. He was so sure in himself that it says that he sent the crowds away. He sent the crowds away. Which means there are times you have to distance yourself from the praises of the people. 
Oh, because if not, your ego will be puffed up. And Paul said, let no man think more highly of himself than he ought to. Because I know the real me, and people will have you thinking more highly of yourself than you ought to. And then you try to flex and realize I don't have no power in that area. Ooh, who am I talking to? So Jesus understood the importance. This is why he's not, 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 not this, this, is, this is awesome. Even his disciples, those who had walked with him for years, were joining in with the crowd trying to make him profit before time. Trying to crown him, put him in a, a position before time. And Jesus looked at them and said, you know what? Y'all getting caught up in the praises of people. Leaders, 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 leaders got to be careful that you don't let your ear get caught up in the praises of people. Yes, sir. And now you become a tool against what God is doing through the set man and woman of God because your ear is too tuned in to people. So look at what Jesus did. It says that he immediately, with a sense of urgency, he made, <laughs> he didn't ask them. He made them because he knew what was good for them. So he made them get ready to go to the other side. But verse 24 says, but the boat was now in the middle of the sea, tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary. So he knew he was sending them in the midst of a storm. He knew he was sending them into the midst of a contrary wind. Because there's tension. The favor of the crowd versus the force of the winds. Tension. We, okay, y'all have to. Tension, 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 tension. Because he, he knew, he knew. I got to create this tension because I need you to now get in something that you go need me. I know the people were just praising over there, but they can't help you right here. Have you ever had God put you in something that couldn't nobody help you, but you had to have Jesus come? You knew you called so-and-so, and they could not, could not help because you knew that this was a job for Jesus. Jesus takes them and sends them. Look at the text. He sends them. In the middle of the sea, now, custom says that they had rowed about three, three miles. They had rowed about three miles in the middle of the lake. So they're too far in it to go back. <laughs> and too close to turn around. So I'm too far in it to go back. But I'm too close to turn around. Is there anybody in this church that says I'm too far in it to go back? And I'm too close to turn around. They're in the middle of it. They're in the middle. They're in the middle. Tell somebody I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of this thing. I'm in the middle trying to figure this out. I'm in the middle trying to work this thing. I'm in the middle of this business. I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of this marriage. I'm in the middle of this. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle trying to figure this thing out. Oh, he brought me from a mighty long way. I'm not there yet. I'm right in the middle, and I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out what's next. And God has put me in this thing that only Jesus can help me. Help me, Lord, because if you don't come, if you don't come, ooh, Shabo say, if, if you don't come, Lord, it's not gonna be done, and I'm not gonna make it. The stuff is contrary right now. My money is contrary right now. My faith is contrary. My marriage is contrary. The, everything is contrary right now. And I'm trying to figure this out, Lord. I'm, I'm in the middle. Hallelujah, I'm in the middle. And it's contrary. The winds and the waves. I'm contrary. Hey, I know what it's like to be in something and it's gone contrary. Even though I'm a trained fisherman, I still find myself in something that's contrary and my skill can't get me out of this. 
My training can't get me out of this. My tools can't get me out of this. My connections can't get me out of this. My boat can't get me out of this. We're in the middle. Contrary winds. Contrary winds. And in the scripture says that Jesus came to them in the middle of the storm. You didn't catch it. Jesus came to them in the middle of the storm. They didn't have the resources or the bandwidth to go to him. But he came to Do I have anybody that can say, God, I praise you right now for coming to me in the middle of a storm when all hell was breaking loose and I didn't know if I could make it one more day. You decided you were going to come to me. I almost lost my mind, but Jesus came to me in the middle of the storm because he knew what I needed. Because it wasn't going to work. Unless he came to me. And he comes to them. And the scripture says, walking on the water. Walking on the water. Now, everything else in the sea is going crazy. And the word is coming to them, walking on the water. And they looked at him. Let me show you what they said. Verse number, uh, verse number 25. Now, in the fourth watch of the night. Now, the fourth watch was, was between 3 a.m. 3 a. and 6 a.m. <laughs> Woo, I could preach that all. Because <laughs> there's something that happens in the midnight hour in the early mornings. So, see, okay. See, there's things that happen right before daybreak. Sometimes when things are the worst, it means that day is getting ready to break. Oh, when I'm in the fight of my life, it means that day is just about to break. And Jesus has came to me to make sure I see the day when it breaks in my life. Between 3 a.m., and 6 a.m. this fourth watch Jesus comes walking and it says that and when they saw him walking on uh, on the sea they were troubled saying it is a ghost because sometimes it's hard to recognize God in the midst of the raging winds and seas oh God sometimes God may not look like God in the midst of a storm. Sometimes he may look a little different. You said, but they betrayed me. But God says, that was me in the middle of the storm. You says, but they broke, but they broke my heart. But God said, that was me in the middle of the storm. But they laid me off. God says, no, that was, that, that was me in the middle because I was trying to show you something else. I was getting ready to bless you. I was getting ready to blow your mind. So you thought what the enemy meant for evil, I meant it for good because I was changing you and I was getting ready to open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that you don't even have room enough to receive. You just have to learn how to recognize me in the middle of a storm. But they didn't recognize him because according to the customs, this is important. Because their Jewish customs said that if a person died at sea, they believed their ghost could then appear and walk on the sea. So in essence, it is under pressure that your core beliefs really come out. 
under pressure, you will always respond in the manner consistent with your core beliefs. I could drop the mic right there. Under pressure, you will always. So in essence, if I want to see what you really believe, let me put you under pressure. Because under pressure, what you really believe comes out. Do you run to the club or do you run to the church when you're really under pressure? Do you run to the weed or do you run to the word? When you're really under pressure. How, how do I just, I just lost the whole church. I just lost the whole church. What you really believe, do you begin fussing or do you begin praying under pressure? I'm, I'm just asking. Because under pressure, they were in the middle, tossed to and fro, the waves, everything was contrary. And what they really believed showed up. What they were taught, their core beliefs, what was down in their core, what was in their root, what was in their gut, showed up in the middle. And if we be honest, under this pressure, as we move into this new thing, there's been some core beliefs that have showed up that we had to say, whoo. I've, have you ever been in the middle of something and something came up and you're like, oh, I forgot that was that. <laughs> I ain't got a church tonight. See, real church says, says yeah, I've been some time like, I forgot that was there. That 3 a.m., the 6 a.m., and, <laughs> and the devil is busy. Like, I forgot that was because your core beliefs show up. But there's tension because Jesus shows up and now they have, they have tension between their core belief and this new belief that Jesus is now presenting because men don't walk on water. There is no reference point that they've ever had <laughs> where a man walked on water. Everybody they've seen have died at sea. But Jesus is walking on water. Their core, core belief says this has to be a ghost. But this new belief says you can do exceedingly abundantly above all you ask or think. Yes, Core belief says this can't be real. New belief says this is real. And there's tension. Yes, I can sense in my spirit that there's been some tensions between this new belief God is trying to show you and the core belief that you have been raised with. Core belief says, I don't, I, I don't know if I could ever own that house. New belief says, but you can't do all things. Core, be, core belief versus new belief in the tension and you're battling, trying to figure out which one am I going to believe. And so in this text, I see something that Peter did. That, that blessed me because Peter looked at him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Notice Jesus didn't ask Peter. Peter, at, <laughs> Peter asked Jesus. So in essence, 
there was something that the tension had done, created over Peter's life that made him bold and daring enough to ask the question. If you see it in the word, why don't you ask the question? My Bible says, ask and ye shall receive. So why do you dummy down your asking? Oh, let's just be real. Let's just just get real here. Let's just get real. Some of you got your faith on some big things. Believing God for some big stuff. Believing God for these supernatural moves. And the moment you get ready to ask it, that core belief shows up and says, you can't be all that. You can't do all that. You think you go have a Fortune 500 company? You think you go have a mega church right here in Wilmington, North Carolina? (laughs) Oh, I'm in the house. I'm in the house. You think you're going to minister to wealthy people? You think you go travel the world preaching the gospel? You you think that your core belief comes up. You're going to get your... PhD and become a doctorate? You, you, you go do what? what? The, 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 the tension that exists between the core belief and the new belief. And for the last seven or eight weeks, God has been working in us trying to get us to adopt this new belief so that we know let the old be the old and we're going to come on into the new. Yes, sir. Now, what shocked me, though, is Matthew is the only gospel that records Peter walking on the water. All the other gospels. Matthew is the only one that records Peter walking on the water. But, 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 but the thing that got me is that it is sad that Matthew only witnessed something that he could have experienced. Because remember, there was 12 of them in the boat. But only Peter asked the question. 12 of them in the boat, but only only Peter asked the question. Which means the rest of them missed a moment. In the same boat, but missed a moment. In the same moment, but missed a moment. In the same time, but missed a moment. Touching them, say, don't miss this moment. Don't miss this moment. Don't miss this moment. In the same church, but some of them missed a moment. In the same family, but missed a moment. In the same, in the same business, but missed a moment because only Peter. And Matthew was sitting here writing about something. That if he would have asked the question, (laughs) he too could have experienced the supernatural act of God. And so Peter looks at Jesus and said, Lord, if it is you, bid me to come. I want to leave you with this question because the question is, the question is, Is it the safety on the boat or the discovery that is on the water? You decide. And the question is, the safety on the boat or the discovery on the water? You decide. Because even though God is doing new things and everything's new and it's different, And God's blessing and he's changing and he's moving. Things are great. Doors are opening. Opportunity is here. Miracles are happening. Favor is here. You decide. Is it the safety on the boat? That I'm skilled, I'm learned, I'm trained, and I know this boat. I've been been raised 
as a fisherman all my life, I know this boat. I know my stuff on this boat. I know how to make this boat do what it do. I know, I know this boat. Oh, but I done messed around and asked a question. There's something I done messed around, and I saw in the word, and I asked the question, and God looked at me and said, come. I know this job. I know my nine to five. You know, I've been doing this. My degree is in this. My training is in this. I know this right here. But now I didn't find out that God says I'm calling you out and now ministry is in you. And I'm asking now, you got to choose the safety of the boat or the discovery that's on the water because discovery is risky because it's wrapped in uncertainty. Discovery is risky because it comes wrapped in uncertainty. I know this boat, but when I step out here on this water, it's, I don't know this territory right here. <laughs> I know this building right here, 1470 North Kerr Avenue. <laughs> Because I've been here 10 years. I know this building. I know it works. I know it don't work. I know the budget. I know what it takes to maintain this. But son, is it the safety of the boat or the discovery that's on the water? Because I got more for you in this church. And I want to bless you with something bigger and something more. Ah, but you got to choose either the safety on the boat or the discovery in the next place that I'm getting ready to take you to. Because it's new. Because it's new, it's, it's different. Who, who am I talking to? It, it, it's different. It's not so much walking on the water, it's the tension that exists before I even take my first step. Ah, it's, the, it's, the, it's, it's the tension. It's the, whoo, oh, shit, boy, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the tension. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I want to. I want to. I sense you calling me, but God, I'm not sure. I know this boat. If something happens on this boat, it's cool because probably I didn't seen it before. I can make it. I can fix it. But, 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 but when I'm out here on this water, I'm not. I'm... You said, come Lord, and, and I want to obey you. But, but the safety of the boat or the discovery that's on the water. Look at somebody and say, tension. 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 I met this good, I met, oh, good God. I met this good person, and, and I believe they're the one for me we're supposed to get married, but, but what about the last marriage? And what I went through in the last marriage, even though I got a good person now, I'm still with the ten tension. Tension. And now I'm dragging my feet in this new thing that God is doing because of the tension. Because of the tension. God's opening up doors, supernatural doors. And the door is open and I'm afraid to walk through it. The door you have been praying for, the new door is open, but because of the tension you like. And then complain that life isn't full like you want it to be because of Peter. Peter is on this boat. Which means you have to be confident enough to leave others in the boat. Because I can imagine the tension where the others were saying, Peter, I can't believe you go do that. Peter, are you sure that's Jesus? Peter, are you really going to do this? Now, Peter, we've been doing this all of our lives, Peter. Peter, you're not going to make it. Peter, you go fall. Peter, you go die. Peter, you are crazy. Peter, what is wrong with you? Peter, you are out of your mind. Peter, you tension. The, 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 Peter, that, that is a ghost. You crazy. You got it wrong, Peter. You about to. The ones that he had been with. 
the ones he had been with for years, the ones that thought they knew him. Peter, we have your best interest in mind. We just want to make sure you're safe and you're okay. Peter, don't you dare get out of this boat. Peter, don't you see the winds and the storm? Peter, look at the waves. Peter, we, we love you. Peter, don't, don't do this. Tension. 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 So sometimes, even though family means well, they don't know well. And that means that God has something else that he's doing outside of their realm of understanding, which means there's something that God's calling me to that they might not grasp it right now. And though I know that they love me, I can't be confined to their limited mindset of me when I know God said, God said, come. God said, come. Peter, you asked the question. I just gave you an Look at somebody say, and the question is. And the question is. <laughs> and the question is. The question is, what? You decide. You can rise to your feet. I gotta stop. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on, come on. Rise to your feet. You you decide. You decide. You decide. You decide. Tension. The tension is God. The tension is God working, stretching you, giving you the courage and the boldness to ask questions that you've never asked before, to live a life beyond your pedigree, Come on, sir. to live a life beyond your education, to live a life beyond the things you have seen of old. And the question is, discovery is risky. Discovery is risky. Discovery is so risky that even the text says that Peter began to sink. That's how risky, disco that's how risky discovery is that it says he began to sink. But still, even that moment was more valuable than the safety of the boat. Ah. If I be honest, the problem is some of us like to play it too safe. And greatness does not happen without tension and risk. Some of us like to play it too. Oh, I feel that in the house. Some of us. What would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? Thank you. You would do it. Could that be the thing God has said, come out on the water? We, we play, and God is saying, behold, I do a new thing, and it's going to be risky. This, this new thing is not going to be safe in the way that you think. This new thing, you're going to have to trust God in a manner that you've never had to trust him before. Could him showing up in the middle of the contrary waves on the boat was only a precursor for Peter getting ready to walk outside the boat? Wow. That Peter knew that if he showed up on the boat, maybe he could show up on the water too. So the way God intervened last time should only been a build in your faith for what he wants to do this time. If he did it before, he'll do it again. Same God right now. Same God right now. If he did it before, he'll do it again. The same God. The same God. 
So you're going to have to. And the question is, I can't answer this for you. You got to get along with God. Oh, God, I just felt the glory rest in this house. Church, woman of God, man of God, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher, all, all these great gifts in this house, you got to answer this question. Because God is doing something new. And don't witness something that you can experience. Because there's others in here that have already said, I'm getting out this boat. This boat, this boat was good for the season. But I'm getting out this boat. It was Peter's faith that caused him to be the first apostle that preached and 3,000 people got saved. Because if God could keep me on the water, he'll keep me in the midst when I open up my mouth before authorities and dignitaries and declare what the Lord said. If he didn't let me sink in the water, he would not let me sink in the midst of the crowd and the pressure. Hey, because it's the same God. You decide. You decide. Lift those hands in the presence of Jesus. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the same God back then If he did it before He'll do it again Same God right now Same God back then If he did it before He'll do it again same Everybody who can, I need you to get a $22 seed in your hand. We want to cover it yes, for the last quarter of this year, $22 seed. Yes, Lord. As an act of your faith that I'm choosing the discovery that is on the water. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The boat has been great for me. The boat has served its purpose. The boat has helped take care of my family. The boat has been my avenue, but, but there's something else. And just as an act of faith, $22, put our giving information on the screen. You can sew via push pay or a cash app or however you, you want to give. But this is just a covenant seed, an act of your faith. Just your faith, but I wish to give on the screen. Because we want to just cover it. I choose the water. He'll do it again. I choose the water. Same God right now. The discovery on the water. I choose that. Did it before. I know. I had to wrestle with some stuff and fight with some things, but I made up in my mind the discovery on the water. Yes, it's going to be risky, but I got to trust God in this season. If you have your seed, just kind of wave it up in the air so I can see online audience. If you're giving to, just wave your seed in the air. Father, I thank you for this seed. I thank you for this newness. We now covenant by faith. That God, we shall get out of, of this boat and we shall move in the favor 
miraculous, supernatural power that you have for us now. Now, God, I pray that you bless this seed 100 for everything they need. Meet them at the point of their greatest need. Open up the windows of heaven and pour them out everything they need in this season. I thank you, Lord, that you bless every seed. Rebuke every satanic force that will come to eat up eat up their harvest i cancel it now in the name of jesus now god these people shall do supernatural exploits god by the end of this year over the god within the next 90 days i still believe that this people and this church will do supernatural exploits for the kingdom of god and i declare and decree that it is so let everybody say amen Say amen. Say amen. If he did it before, I'm going to ask one of my ushers to come around and please serve the people of God. I'm going to tell you what, if you got a bucket, if, you bucket, before, if you've got an offering, reciprocal, do it offering again. come on, quick, 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 quick. Shame God right now. Quick. Shame God right now. You have an offering, so I need you to if you did it before, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right you can do it again, yeah. yeah. If you have your offering, come in and bring Shame it up here. Yes. Right now. If you sold Shame by a right phone, now. I just need you to come in and touch the basket. If you did it before, yeah. yeah. All on audience, thank you. You can thank do you. it again. Thank yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you Shame sold by phone, God just touch right this basket. Now. Thank you. Thank you. Same God back oh, then. Oh, yeah. See, if you, you did it before, he can do it again. Thank you. Thank you. Same God right now. Same God back then. Within 90 days. Within 90 days, y'all. I got my faith out. I got my faith out. I'm joining my faith with your faith. Within the next, within less than 90 days. Less than 90 days. I got my faith out. If he did it before. If he did it before. If he did it again. If he did it again. you calling us out on the waters and tonight we say yes Lord 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 we say yes Lord we're coming <laughs> We will not fail. Even if we sink, we will not fail. Even if we sink, we will not fail. So God, I thank you for every faith walker that's in this place. That their faith is on fire in our God. Knowing that you're dominant on the waters. Knowing that you're dominant in the contrary winds. Knowing that you can cause them to behave or cause them to come in order or cause them to roar either way we're solid in the midst of the winds we're solid in the midst of the waves no matter our God is the God of the winds our God is the God of the waves and because he's on the waters we are okay so God we say yes we're coming we're saying yes we're coming and we thank you that every person that's under the sound of my voice will see great victories on the water. Every person that's under the sound of my voice, every family that's attached to them will see great victories on the water. And we say thank you and we give you glory. God, keep and protect your people and we leave this place. And God, we'll see each other again. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Everybody say amen. Praise as you're leaving this place. Come on, go ahead and give him praise. Come on, and give him glory. Come on, and give him honor. Come on, and give him praise. Come on, and give him honor.
We give you praise, God. 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 We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We glorify your name, Jesus. We glorify your name, Jesus. I, I think you should leave out of this place feeling excited that you were elected to recognize it was Jesus on the water. I, I want you to leave out of this place feeling excited that you were chosen to recognize it was Jesus on the water. That you were elected to ask the question. And because you were elected to ask the question, you know that there are provisions on the water. You, Jesus. God bless you. We'll see you Sunday morning. Please be encouraged. This is not the first time you've been through. You've been through worse. You didn't come this far just to lose. He knows your needs. So take your thoughts on what you know. God, we 